Yo! What it is? Michael! How are you going, my friends? I see you just tuning in. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Great stuff. Let's put this away and let's get the show on the road. Good afternoon, guys, and I see Barbara has just tuned in. Jared, my man, it was really, really good catching up with you earlier on. Dave Kaufman, thank you, thank you so much. Michael Carpenter and Joel, I can't wait for our chat later on. Nicole, what's happening? What's happening? And guys, I'm so excited today and the cold disappeared. So today I'm really going to offer you a really good show. Those that were watching yesterday, my apologies. I mean, obviously one of those things. Carl Jordan, thank you so much for tuning in. Brad Solomon, nice to see you around. Nash. How's it going, brother man? Everybody's in the house. Thank you so much for checking in. Uh, Ricky Martin. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. What does Nicole say? Woo! Um, doing it on live just to tune in and watch you. Thank you so much. And Cassie, thank you so much. Really, really good connecting with you today. I'm feeling the energy in the house today. Thank you all so much. And it's a Friday, Fry, yay. Let's, let's, let's do this and get it out of the way. Joe, Stacy, thank you so much. Everybody's here. Wow. All right. Barbara says, be in touch another week or two. Exactly. Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Enough about that. Today. If this is the first time you're tuning into the Lunch and Learn, welcome, welcome, and I really, really am excited to be ushering this topic because it's really dear at heart. Today we're talking about authenticity, guys. We're talking about the genuine you that people actually love, the genuine you that people actually talk about at a barbecue, all right? See, at the end of the day, as an entrepreneur, depending on whatever Facebook ad that sold you the dream, half of the time, people just want to get in, they want to get out and get rich. But it doesn't work like that. First of all, you've got to really build an audience. Second of all, connect and engage with that audience. And third, and finally, you got to be able to sell to that audience, all right? But it just doesn't happen just because you're showing up on Facebook. It just doesn't happen because you've got Instagram or you can tweet. You really got to show people you can help them by actually helping them. And now, everybody else has a thumb. You can see my thumb has got muscles, right? And I think yours too has muscles. You know why? We're always texting. We're always, um, you know, sharing. We're always communicating with people. All right. In the midst of all of that, that's when your message is coming in. That's when your message is being heard too. How many people are actually swiping right to your message so that you can Netflix and chill with them? You can only do that if you're really authentic. You know what I mean? So I want to help you build a real business. All right. I want to help you earn more money with less struggle. All right. By just being yourself. That's, that's all there is. You can stop watching this video right now. And it, it's done. Just being yourself. All right. And what do I mean? It's, 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 it sounds like it's a buzzword about being all authentic and stuff like that. But it is actually a key differentiator between a great business that people actually love, people actually remember to talk about, and people actually respect. These days, you can never tell people that, oh, look at me, this is what I do, etc., etc. You are only one Google search away and one tweet away. All right? So at the end of the day, if you are not being authentic, people will create a hashtag about you and the rest of the world would never want to hear anything that you've got to say. So you exactly have to build into your business, not to only simply provide a service um, or whatever product it is that you're offering, but to actually show people you care by actually being there for them. You know why? As an entrepreneur, you are here to solve problems. Who are the people you're solving problems for? And why should they care to actually hear that message from you? And I see Robert Dane has tuned in. Thank you so much. I know you're... Coming in all the way from London. I hope it's not too late for you. All right. So authentic marketing is, is strategically unstrategic. All right. You, you're being intentional about how you reach out to the people that actually know, like, and trust you. And it's, a, it's, 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 it's something you cannot automate. It's something you cannot fake. 
Because if you're going to be doing it, it's got really long-term bottom line benefits. All right? People will find out the truth. You are just one Google search away. And in addition, it's, it's a wholly inconvenient choice that you would be putting people through, you know, having to, to disconnect from you after having lied to them. All right? As we all know, Simon Sinek, um, he came up with, with the best thing that really describes um, authentic marketing. I'll read it out. I was writing it down a little bit earlier on. People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. So you want to now start making sure that you are aligning with people in a way that they actually understand who you are and why they should care to get the service or the product from you. Duncan Musaka, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So it is now no longer what you do, but it is now proof of what you actually believe, what you value, that is now connecting people to your message and eventually making a purchase off of you. All right? So I'm going to be giving you, you know, basic steps to actually implement an authentic marketing strategy in your business, how you, you, you make it look on, on the inside, how to ask yourself, why am I actually doing this business? How to see your business as it is perceived by the actual audience and how to actually influence people in a way that they will actually want to be around you, know what you're selling and advocate for your business. All right. So it takes a lot of action. So those people that are in it for just uh, one click wonder and those people that really um, don't care about their audiences, this is when you stop watching this video. All right. If you are just in it for a get rich quick scheme, this is when you stop watching this video. My goal in putting out this video today is actually to challenge, um, you know, the, the, the common and mostly some unrealistic reasons why people are actually starting a business and help you, you know, you or some of the other current um, entrepreneurs to build a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I've got a daughter, you know, I've got a daughter that is now going to be a, a citizen of this, um, you know, this world of ours. I want her to live in a good community and only entrepreneurs can create that community by ushering their products and services. So I'm just being selfish in as much as I want to create a good world for my daughter. Thank you so much, Joe Stacy, for the love. I see it. Robert, how are you going, my, my, my man? Yeah? Guys. Within your business, this is your opportunity to say what you believe and who you do it for and why those people should care. All right. It's no longer I spray and pray and hoping that somebody is just going to run around and, and, and buy your stuff or look at your billboard and, and call the number that's on the billboard. People will need to see your stuff at least six to seven times. But if you're going to be boring them, then that's it. Out of sight, out of mind. Nobody just buys stuff just because they've seen your, your ad. So your authenticity is going to have to come through the follow-up emails that you're going to put out, the, the phone calls that you're going to put out, the webinars, the Facebook lives, the speeches, the blog posts, all that website sells copy and even your landing pages should ooze out your energy, your authenticity and who you really are and what you stand for. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? So, so at the end of the day, it's no longer just a buzzword. It's now really your way of life. I put up a, a post uh, um, up uh, a little bit earlier on and I said, you know those um, Facebook stories that happen uh, behind the scenes and then you just take a 10 second video that, that goes away? It's now being visible on the desktop. What does that mean for you as a marketer? It's an opportunity for you to be raw and unapologetic for who you exactly are because at the end of the day, you just don't want to be attracting ancient customers that don't know who you are, that don't respect your work, and that are not going to pay you anyway. It's time to build that audience, nurture that audience, and actually be able to sell to that audience in a way that is authentic, in a way that they actually love and want to do it more over and over again. And Joe Stacy says, I get it now. Before I thought that... Uh, my why would be uninteresting. Oh, no. 
Whatever the reason you're doing your work, it has to show. You, you, your audience has to align with that, that which you're doing. Do you know what I mean? I'll tell you a funny story. When I was 19, that's when I first sort of um, fell in love with the whole entrepreneurship and the idea of building a successful company. And guess what my first business was? It was a bar by the beach in a poor country called Malawi. But I thought I was, you know, I thought I was enjoying life. I thought that was what I was going to do. But, I, it, you know, it all grew out of the idea of, of, of thinking that, you know, entrepreneurship is, is all about adventure. is all about just building something. And then you get so rich while being, you know, who, whoever you want to be. You know, as I got older and, 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 and my, my whole um, needs and, and the people around me, sort of changed. I got beyond this whole misguided hype about building a startup fast and lean and then just flipping it for millions. That's not what you're in business for. You are here to serve a purpose. You're here to help people go from whatever pain they are going through right now that your product or service can fix. Steven Sidden, thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? You, you are now here for you to be authentic. You really have to be aligned with what exactly are you offering and is it actually helping people? Charles Turner, thank you so much for tuning in. You know, I really want now to build a business that's profitable, obviously making money inside of it and enjoyable. I want to enjoy working with the people that I am around. I want the people that I'm working with to also enjoy the services that I'm offering. I don't want to be hiding from my customers whenever I go into the city. I want to build a business that's going to exist for ages. And I want to be doing meaningful work based on my core principles, which are live, learn, and contribute. We're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. All right? It's not about speeches or living on the beach or whatever it is. It's just really about getting people's attention for the right reasons. You know, now you might be thinking to, 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 to why, why am I talking about it? You know, because authenticity is sort of become one of the latest buzzwords and it's circulating the online marketing world. But as any other catchphrases, you know, there's a, there's, there's, there's a flash of truth in there. You know, anything that's authentic should be deep rooted in any marketing strategy so that you get aligned to it and people would actually want to be a part of what you're selling. All right. You can basically put the term authentic in anything that you have to do with email, with, 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 with your, your marketing, you know, in the marketing world. Look at this, authentic social media, authentic blogging, authentic advertising. Yeah, so what really, really is authentic, you know, because the dictionary says something that is undisputed, something that is original, something that is not a copy. This is exactly what the market needs, something that is uniquely yours. Something that they can follow and they cannot find anywhere else. Otherwise, they can just find it on Google somewhere else, you know. It doesn't change anything that you're doing right now. It's essentially just the process of open communication, being on the same page as the audience you're talking to. That's what authentic connection is. Humans are always looking to connect to those that are around them. And in as much as a business person, you're always looking to connect to your audience, to your customers and to your prospects. It's a very, you know, it's, 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 it's normal. Would you go into a relationship with somebody who's not authentic? Would you go into a relationship with somebody who's, who's chopping and changing every single day? Yeah, it's just really creating dialogue between your brand and the audience that is so natural, flawless and genuine. But how do you do that? By trying not to be something you are not. You know, these days people can look you up by the second, grand opening, grand closing. You could have spent 10,000 hours trying to create a brand and then just one tweet or just one political post will take, take you off base. 
And Cassie McKay, thank you so much. I also enjoy putting out this content because it's authentic to me. I'm not faking anything. I'm just really trying to connect to the people that I'm going to be asking money off of. Yeah? You want to create trust and like-mindedness. People do business with those that they know, like, and trust. If you're true to yourself, if you're true to your um, values, if you align with people's fears, if you encourage their dreams, if you confirm their suspicions, if you ally with their fears, and then if you, you throw rocks at their enemies, people will deem you authentic. And you don't even have to look any further or whatever it is um, you know, to, to find how you're connecting with your customers. It has got nothing to do with what you share. It's about what you share. All right. So being authentic means being true to who you are as a person, as a writer, as a speaker, as a coach, as, as an online business person. Would you sell what you're selling to your grandmother? Would your grandmother buy what you're selling right now? And would you actually want her to be exposed to the things you're selling right now if she had a use for it? All right. So when it comes to, 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 to marketing, all right, authenticity is usually just thrown around when people are talking about targeting millennials. But that's not it. Yesterday, I put a pattern break in, in your mindset that, you know, this is there's Gen X, there's millennials. But in between, there's also yet another edge group that is not defined. The people that were born in 1977 and people that were born in 1983. If you haven't seen that post, go back, um, you know, three or four posts above. They're called Zillennials. XE, um, it's, it's a mixture of a Gen X and the Millennials. So if, if, if your message is literally not corresponding to the people that you're actually really trying to reach, you are just spraying and praying to an empty theater. So when you have built that audience, be authentic by trying to actually get your message to align with who they are. And in the process, you become authentic. All right. It's just a matter of being honest. Are you actually going to provide the service that you're going to be providing? Are you transparent enough that people can actually see that you are the service provider? Or are you just outsourcing all of those things? People want to talk to the real deal. We are now living in, a, in an area where people are willing to turn off ads and even go to an extent of paying for it. Look at, you know, Netflix. People are running away from mainstream media and going to Netflix because there's no ads on Netflix. People are investing in ad blockers. My two year and a half year old um, little girl is, is also skipping ads. She knows how to skip ads. Customers and consumers and prospects are less passive than ever before. They are now, you know, intention, intentional about who they're consuming content from. So it's only a time like this that you actually have to show your true colors so that those that align with you. Yeah, those that align with you would actually, um, you know, follow your, your message up until they make a transaction or a purchase. And Joel says, I canceled cable a long time ago. Maybe you didn't realize why you did that. It's because of the commercials that come there. It's, it's not because people don't like brands anymore. They still buy branded stuff. I mean, you still buy, buy branded goods, but it's now coming in from their favorite levels. It's now coming in from levels they actually connect with. Labels like Nike, labels, you know, labels that are actually going out of the way to show their human side. So as a business person, your authenticity goes way deeper than your goals and aims or whatever it is for your organizations. All right. Whatever you're going to be building as a business right now. Do you know what I mean? Maybe when you started, you, you, you had this whole perception that at the end of the year, you got to have so much money in the bank. You got to have so many leads. You got to have so many um, uh, prospects. You got to have so many buyers, et cetera, et cetera. And you got to reach out to, um, you know, a, a specified number of people. But things on the online space, as you can notice, guys, they're shifting daily. Every single day, it, become, it has now become a less tangible landscape. You can't really pinpoint what is actually working. Because people have a choice. 
Now you want to be part of that choice that they have. You know, back in the time, people were only getting information from different sources that were credible. But now everybody has an opportunity to be the, their own media company. Yeah. So today, authenticity is not, no longer about your company goals or, you know, whatever the, your aim for your business. But it's now about what you actually believe and what your ideals are. Right now, a lot of people are boycotting uh, companies in Australia that are not supporting sex, se same sex marriage. All right. Whatever you do these days, whatever you do matters, whoever you talk to matters. And that's what brings out part of who your brand identity is. And that's what aligns with people. Jack Talman, thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah. Think about what you as a business person believe in. Write it all down. How does that connect to the people? What are your values? Are those values aligned to the people you want to talk to? Because if my values don't align to what you, 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 you are presenting, but you, you think, do you think I would want to know anything about your product or whatever you sell? No. Do you know what I mean? There's a, there's a phrase that really um, stands out. I also wrote it. I, I read it a, a, a while ago. It says, if success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal, then the ideal or set of ideals, um, what ideals do you want to be known for? What do you want people to need from you? Right? Because if you are not cutting through the noise, if your competition right now is nine-year-olds, six-year-olds, granddads, grandmas, because that's what people are coming to the internet to get information and entertainment and also connection. Now, what part are you bringing to the table in, 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 in line to newsfeed consumption? Yeah. So whatever your brand vision is, it has to align with what people are consuming at that particular moment, because if it's not, people are just going to First of all, unfollow you. Second of all, that's it from that person. So you being authentic is just being very genuine. It's not about being strategic or so that you can be seen as authentic. Just really be yourself. You can't fake what I'm doing right now. You can't automate authenticity. All right. Every, every, every time people, people always thought that, you know, you start from A to B within a business, you start, you get the customers and then it's all linear. These days you start the start and the finish in between is all squiggly. It's no longer linear. You really got to go in and figure out who is the market that you want to reach out to. What is their pain and how can you connect while they're doing whatever they're doing within their business, within their life or whatever your product is doing. Back in the days, all, you know, online marketing was like a recipe. You put two parts, uh, connection, you, three, you put pictures here, and then you added certain ingredients, etc. You mix it all up, and then at the end of the day, you get results as it was promised. It's no longer like that. You know why? Because now people are, are bloated with information. Things were very structured because there was not too many places where people could gather information from. But these days, the online landscape has opened up, you know, Pandora's box. It's increasingly lateral. It's all squiggly. You know? There's no longer a set way of doing things. Right now, if I see somebody online saying, use this certain strategy, I laugh at them. Because what are you doing in between to actually be genuine so that you can attract those people with who have the right kind of pain that your prob problem can fix? Yeah, linear thinking these days is too dominant in a world that is actually, you know, lateral. Being authentic in this day and age, guys, just means going with the flow. What are you doing to connect with your audience while they are at a barbecue? Nobody has time for you, so you got to make sure that you know who exactly they are and how you can be a part of what they're doing at that exact moment. Are you educating enough? Are you just being yourself or are you just being a copy or a replica of something that you saw in a, in a deceptive Facebook ad?
The one thing about you not being genuine, not being truthful, is you, you will soon give up. Because it's not you. You don't feel like that. So if somebody would have copied how I do my videos and not being genuine about them, they, they will soon run short. You know why? Because that's not them. They don't have the energy. All right? So while you're going with the flow with your audience, you want to make sure that you're listening to their wants, you're listening to their needs, and then just give them what they want and need. It's no longer about you getting as many leads or putting people in a funnel or whatever crap you guys are doing out there. Nobody cares about your emails every single day. They want to see how you can help them by you actually helping them. That's why your sheet ain't moving right now. Okay, right now you're probably going, oh, all is well, it's good. You're telling me about authenticity. How am I going to employ this in my business? Through content. All right? Content is where you then teach your audience, because people are coming in to the internet to get information. How are you then making them or teaching them what to want within your business and what your product and, and, uh, uh, and services offer? If you're not putting out content out there and, and, and bringing people closer to you so they can get to understand you and get who you are, you're missing out, brother and sister. Yeah? Oh, traditional marketing methods, you know, they, they just like your standard banner out there. Hey, look at me, look at me. This is what I can do. A few email blasts. Do, do people still use email blasts these days? Or do they still use that sort of a term? And Stevens, how are you going? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right. People are just hoping that, you know, you, you put out a status or a post out there and it might re result in sales. But you're easily forgotten by the audience, guys. And people are, are paying so much money, like I said, so that they don't have ads. They want to have an ad-free existence. There's what is called ad fatigue. How are you cutting through the noise if you're not being authentic enough that people really want to know who you are? You got to leave audience wanting more from you. You know why? Because they can't get it anywhere else on the internet. You want people to feel a connection, all right? Up until they're ready to open up their wallets, all right? So if you're going to be going out there, you know, if you're using, you know, authentic marketing by literally just showing up and really saying, guys, okay, this is where I'm at. I'm not an expert yet, but I read this yesterday. Let's talk about it. Let's discuss. People will respect that a whole lot more than you coming up and trying to pretend to be something that you're not. On the other hand, you are much more relatable. People cannot relate to rich people. People cannot relate to numbers that they cannot understand. People relate to other people. Remember, you're creating the resemblance of like-mindedness, right? That's the age we're living in, like-mindedness. And therefore, you become much more memorable because you are exactly what your prospect thinks, does, and you, so they don't have to stretch their mind to remember what it is that you do. So literally, you just want to be creating content that just reflects what your company and your personality is. Right now, if you come, if you watch my behind the scenes, it's me and my little girl and we're dancing or whatever it is. This is me. That's it. What you see is what you get. All right? Now, what's the best way of actually putting out the, your authentic side out there? There's what is called user-generated content. Are you helping people enough that they're willing to leave and vouch for you online or with a testimonial or something like that? Or are people enjoying your product so much that they are willing to be um, photographed with your, with your product and say, hi, I got this from Sally and now it's helping me. That's what user-generated content is. And it's authentic. You know why? Because it's coming from their own peers. It's not a staged photograph of them with models, you know, looking like they're constipated holding your product. Yeah? So, you know, when you start having customers actually excited about your product, they start taking photos or using whatever hashtags that you have, and it builds a community around your brand that no one can take away from, from you. Now, that's authentic. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? Because 
If you're just blasting out promotions of your products and your every second thing that you talk about is, hey, buy my stuff, hey, look at me um, in your audience faces, you will be unfollowed. You will be ignored. Instead, you start encouraging people to actually start participating within your brand or whatever it is that you're doing and feel like they actually are part of something bigger. People are looking to belong. Give them a platform that they can work around your work, they can work around your products, and they can actually really, really enjoy being a part of what you're creating. And also, do surveys with them so that you can actually find out, am I serving a purpose or am I just spraying and praying to an empty theater? Are people sharing your stuff? All right. By the way, th this is when you get to share your stuff, my, my content. Every time I say share... It's, it's a cue that you, you get to share, all right? Nicole, did you do that? All right? Stop just blasting promotions to people in order, in, 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 you know, just hoping that they will buy your stuff. What have you given to warrant that they want to reciprocate with their wallets? Yeah? You know, the whole notion that individuals are just mere consumers, it's, it's not outdated, guys. Consumers can actually be seen as active producers of business value because that then creates word of mouth. That then creates, um, you know, uh, what, what, what do they call it when uh, uh, social proof? That then creates social proof. And then it, it increases your influence within a community because at least somebody is talking and raving about your products. Matthew Riedel, thank you so much for tuning in. How are you going? We all know that nothing brings a lot of um, you know, business than word of mouth. So people can only talk about you if you're genuine, if you actually care about them, etc., etc. So how then can you then you know, um, you know, incite people to want to wanna talk about you in as much as it, it, it helps you create those customer stories and people will talk about you, um, you know, so that other people can gr grab, grab your, 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 your stuff. While you, you are in, 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 in the whole mix of putting out your brand, you're engaging with your customers. All right? Once you engage with people, they want to know a lot more. But just don't get caught up you know, in stuff and try and overplay it. You have to engage your customers in the right way. All right? So the biggest takeaway of this, I know I've gone past a little bit, Really engage with your audience and open a two-way stream of communication instead of, you know, employing old age um, tactics that no longer work. You're dealing with people that have smartphones, all right? Even though they're not smart, but they have a choice now. So if you're just shoving your marketing down your audience throats and, you know, you want to include them in the process and give them a part to play, that then creates the whole human side of your marketing and you know you're just truthful and transparent you know why because that's where the money is by you being genuine and authentic all right and authentic businesses they put their customers first it's no longer about the money because you genuinely want to serve and people dig that stuff so when you start putting your customers at the forefront of your marketing strategy, you're immediately showing them that you are trustworthy and they can count on you. Wouldn't that be nice if your customers actually know that you're the person that can offer them anything else that they're looking for? All right. So I'm really hoping that this um, video is going to help you, you know, really look deep and see exactly why you're doing what you're doing. All right. And how you are actually going to be... Um, you know, shaping the way you're connecting with your audience because that's the way that people are actually going to be connecting with you. All right. I hope that these basic steps will, will, will help you create an authentic marketing strategy in your business so you can look inside, find out why you do what you're doing. And then you also look outside your business and see how you are literally connecting with the people you're going to be asking money off of. All right. I really want you to take action and reconfigure these parts of your businesses and genuinely go out and help people by actually helping them. All right? Because your life story and your own experience have got great market value than you could ever possibly think about. I really want to help you. 
So if you want to continue this conversation in the, in the comments below or just send me a message and let me look at what you're doing so that we can do the authenticity test to see if this, you know, what you're doing is actually helping people. I'm more than happy to do that. In the meantime, go on and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for your patience with me yesterday. And I really want to make sure that whoever I'm dealing with is going to start earning more money with less struggle. In the meantime, go on and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, leave, learn, and contribute.